Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube video about Path of Exile third party tools. This game is incredible. I have played for over 13,000 hours now and I keep learning new things and I keep finding new and new useful third party tools that uh, enhance my gameplay in various ways. So uh, I've collected a whole bunch of them into a list and we're gonna go through all of them right now. Some of them are trading related, some of them are SSF related, some of them are crafting related. Some of them could have their own multi-hour long videos, but we'll try to keep this one short. It's not gonna be very short, but we will try. And uh, hopefully this helps mostly new and intermediate players. That's the goal, kind of an educational video. I don't really make a lot of these, but uh, when I do, like for example, the tips and tricks, it seems to do pretty well. And if it helps people out, cool. Let's get started. First things first, the Path of Exile wiki. Sometimes you just want to look up information, like what's the Tornado Shot gem do? Tornado Shot POE. And the first result is the Fandom wiki. This wiki is outdated and littered with ads. And this is the wiki that you should be using. Unfortunately, this wiki SEOs the crap out of their thing. So this will show up first for the most part. However, there is an extension that you can download called POE Wiki Search. If you download this, even if you click the fandom link, it will redirect you to the correct wiki link. So you don't even have to pay attention which link you click, it will redirect you to this one. This is the wiki you wanna use if you wanna look up something. Next. Craft of Exile. This is a huge one. This website is incredible. This website teaches you all sorts of things about PoE crafting, what mods, items can roll and all that. This website could use a multi-hour video, but we're gonna be just very short, very quickly. Let's say you wanna look up what mods can roll on a strength helm. Let's say you found the strength base, you click helmet, you click strength. This will show you what the item can roll. This is prefixes on the left side, suffixes on the right side. Let's say you wanna know, you want T1 cold res on it. What eye level do you need for T1 cold res? You click the cold res, eye level 84. So as long as it's eye level 84 or higher, it can roll T1 cold res. This is one of the features you can see of the shaper mods here, elder mods, crusader, hunter, warlord, all sorts of info. It also has a crafting simulator and a crafting emulator. Simulator simulates if you wanna get a certain mod, how many tries of a particular crafting method you need to achieve that. Emulator is an actual crafter, so you can like craft on this website. Let's say you wanna create a strength helm base, stick with the same example, an eternal burger, eye level 84, proceed. Now you have this item and you can start crafting. Let's transmute it. Okay, let's all spam. Let's all spam for T2 lightning res, very good. Okay, now let's regal it. Okay, attribute requirements, perfect, that's what I wanted. Now let's lock the suffixes. Suffixes cannot be changed, boom. And now we harvest craft. Harvest crafting, reforge crit for some reason. Yeah, reforge crit, let's do it. No, that you can't do it because the item doesn't have a crit. Okay, then let's do reforge cold, boom. That's what happened, we got T2 armor and cold res. Look at that, now we have T2, Lightning Res, and Cold Res. Anyway, Craft of Exile is insane. You can experiment with all sorts of crafting here, but let's move on for the sake of brevity. Filter Blade. This game has a lot of items that drop on the ground, and uh, sometimes you don't know what's good. So first of all, you should grab the basic Neversync filter. It's gonna be better than playing without a filter. So, so much better. And it also has cool skins. So this is how it looks normally. This is the normal style. You can switch it to Abyss, then it's kind of green tint. You can switch it to Vol, it's more of a red tint. This is just the style. And then you can customize everything. Do you want some large stack of currency to not show? Then you disable it, take it off. There's a search feature on the right side. So let's say you don't want the jeweler or vendor recipe, then you just disable it and then they will not show. The most important feature of this is the simulate. This is an insane feature. Let's say you found something and you don't want that to show on your filter. How do you do that? Let's say you found a forbidden tome, for example, and you don't want this forbidden tome to show up on your filter for some reason. 
you control C on the item and you control V it into this here. And the filter will immediately show the rule that shows up. If it doesn't show up, this will be on, on hide and then you can show. If you want it to not show, then you click hide, you save the filter, done, GG. If you want to go and find this in the customizer, you click this and it takes you to the exact rule and all the rules that are surrounding it. So let's say you don't want this omen to show up, for example, the death's door, then you just click X and it will not show up, GG. And then you go to save, save and sync, and it will sync it to your account if you connected your account here, if you logged in on the website. And then this will be in your filters. I have one filter that I keep updating. It's amazing. Uh, shout outs to NeverSync. He's the one that wrote and maintains this whole website and the filters, every league, insane amount of work, really cool. POE Ninja, this is an incredible tool. This site is the perfect site to spy on people. If you wanna know what other people are doing, people that have public profiles, you can. Let's say you're a tornado shot enjoyer and you wanna see what other people are doing with tornado shots, let's say with a headhunter. Let's say you wanna make a tornado shot headhunter build. Let's search for headhunter. Ticket, search for tornado shot, ticket. This will show every account on the top 5,000 on the ladder that is using tornado shot and has a headhunter equipped. Later on in the league, this becomes kind of inflated because you know more, more people get to 100 and you have to like sort differently. Let's sort by DPS. This person is the highest damage person who is using tornado shot and a headhunter. You just click him and this is his gear. Oh look, he has a Fizz Mirror Bow and he's playing Cold Conversion Tornado Shot with Heat Shiver. Who would have guessed? And he also has a plus one frenzy crit multi percent dex ring uh, Omni that he's mirroring with a Calandra touch. Here is his tree. Here is his gem links. You can import his profile to POB, which we'll talk about later. You can scout all sorts of builds here. If you're a new player and you want to find out what people are doing, you can switch to SSF. You can even go back to past leagues and check data for that. Let's say you want to see what builds work on day three SSF league. What are people doing in SSF without any specifications? Look, 6% of people are playing Bone Shatter, 4% Explosive Arrow, 4% Detonate Dead, 3% Lightning Arrow. These are the highest level characters on the third day of the league in SSF. This is what they're playing. You click them, check them out. This is his gear. Look, he has a six link. He has an axe. This is his tree. This is his links. This is his POB. You can import it and play around with it. Really cool, uh, really cool website, POE Ninja. You can also watch economical stuff on it. Let's say you want to know how the mirror price looks this league. This is how it looked. This is how much chaos a mirror is worth day by day. What about apothecary cards? Let's see how apothecary cards looked. This is how the price of apothecary looked over the league in this month. You can look up streamer builds. Whoever has a public profile is going to be listed here. You can click their channel. You can click their character, see what they're playing. Very nice spying website. Highly recommend. PoE Regex or Regex. This is mostly for map rolling and expedition. If you want to roll your maps, in bulk, this website will give you a string of text that you can copy in the highlight here and you can roll your maps in bulk with it. Let's say you cannot run reflect maps and you cannot run cannot leech maps. Maybe hexproof, maybe cursing is really important for your build, so you cannot run these mods. If you put this string into your map tab, it will highlight the maps that you can run. The maps that are not showing up here that means those are bricks. This one has hexproof, this one has hexproof. Some of these have reflect, so you wanna reroll those. Uh, you can do it the other way around. If you're looking for, let's say, beyond, you really wanna force roll for beyond, then you just do this. Yee. Yee. These are the beyond maps in the tab. Wow, you save those and you keep rolling. You can also roll them for a particular quantity at least, let's say you want at least 90 quant maps, then you copy this. This is a long string, so adding this with other stuff might go over the limit. The limit here is 50 characters. So if you put it here, these are the 90 plus quant maps. Everything else is lower than 90, so it's a reroll. 
Let's say we want 80 plus quant maps. There's a couple more of those. Okay, so that's PoE, RegEx. Uh, there's another feature here, Expedition. If you want a Gwen and Gumba, then you put this in to the Gwen and window. And this will highlight all of these items. There is other stuff that you can put in. Let's say you really want a high res. You can add high res, load more items. Look, here is high res, boom. But eventually you reach this 50, 50, 50 out of 50 character limit, same as the stash. And then if you add a new thing, it's gonna remove the lowest value thing here. So let's say after the high res, you also want combs, then it's removed the, the voltaxic bow here and so on. So this is how you Gwen and Gamble and you will never miss an item that you want to buy. Moving on, Vorici Calculator. Let's say you have a six link chest that you want to recolor. It has 200 strength requirement, which is really steep, but you really want some off colors on it. You want three green, two blue, and one red. Okay, this site will tell you what's the best way to do that with chromes. If you have a less than six socket item, it's usually better to do the, um, the jeweler method, which is to just make it two socket and then two to three socket and then two to three until you get the third one and then three to four socket until, cause it's, you're only spending, you know, a couple of jewelers at a time. This chest is gonna be really expensive to chrome. It's 4,000 chromatics on average. This is the best way to do it. Two green, one blue. And it's gonna take you 40 tries on average, 39 tries on average with 100 chromes per try. The jeweler trick is still good for six sockets, but if you're already six link the item, it might be more expensive to fix it with jewelers and then re-six link it. So this is only for chromes. Next, okay, this is a big one. Path of building community fork. It's important to mention that this is the community fork because the original path of building is always behind. I don't even know if it's getting developed. This is being maintained by very dedicated people. And this is the most crazy, expensive, helpful tools in existence for Path of Exile. Again, a multi-hour long video could be made about this tool and it would not cover everything. Just let's go over the basics. First of all, there's an update ready. It auto updates, just click it, you update it, GG. Okay, it is up to date. This tool is instrumental for build creation and uh, finding out how your build is doing numerically uh, in theory uh, before you you know, put it to practice. How I think most people would use this as, as a new player is import their character and then mess around with it, see if an item is an upgrade for them, see if some other pathing is an is a upgrade for them in some way. So let's go to import, and then I can import my character here. You just put in the account name, you can put in anyone's account name, if their profile is public, your favorite streamer, your favorite YouTuber, you put the account here and you can check their characters. I'm gonna import my ranger here, import the tree, import the skills, and that's it. Now, this is my character. This is uh, my tree, all of my jewels, my pathing, my skills, my links, what items I'm wearing. Let's say I wanted to add a bow and see if it's an upgrade. Let's say I wanted to see if the soul branch bow is an upgrade, okay? I mouse over the bow and I control C it, I copy it. And then I create a custom item and I add it. Boom, edit to build, there's a add to build button. And now I can switch to this weapon. Is it an upgrade? Let's see, my combined DPS is 11,000. But if I switch to this bow, then it doesn't change. I'm on flame dash. Okay, thank you. So just wanna mention, I am a complete useless person when it comes to POB. I like playing this game, Path of Exile not this game. Some people have more hours in this game than in this game. I'm not one of those people. I am terrible at using this, but uh, yeah, the, the, the basics. So I, you should select your main skill if you want to see your DPS. I have 4 million combined DPS on one arrow. So now I put in this bow that I did earlier, this dog shit bow, and I'm going to switch to that. And my DPS goes down to 1.3 million. So that bow is in fact 
not an upgrade for my build. We have found out. Very cool. There is all the calculations here, like aura effect, movement speed, leech, energy shield regen. You can find out everything numerically about your character if you're the type of person that uh, wants to delve into that. You can import other people's characters and play around with it. This tool is, is, is just, it's just insane, but uh, I am very bad at it. Anyway, moving on. You can have multiple instances open. That's your profile nick for check POV. Empyrean Warp Gate is my profile. Next up, trading stuff. So the number one trading tool that I use is Awakened PoE Trade. This is how it looks. You can instantly price check anything with Control D. I want to price check a Mage Blood. How much is a Mage Blood? Control D. 350 divines. You can Control Alt D it, and then you can click your mouse around it and it's not going to disappear. Let's say I want to check how much it is on standard. You can click up here and switch the leak to standard and then it's going to show standard. I don't want to do that, but anyway. You can also check rolls. Let's check combs with max life roll. How much would be a comb spirit not corrupted with max life roll? It's actually almost one divine. Very cool. What about min life roll? 30C. You can play around with these sliders. It also has the current divine to chaos ratio on the top left corner. You can click this and it'll tell you, you know, if you're buying something for 3.4 divines, oh, I don't know how much is 0.4 divines. It'll do the math for you. This is up-to-date POA Ninja prices, very useful stuff. You can also click this button and it'll pop out the search in a separate tab on POE trade and uh, mess around with the POE trade listings here. So there are some items that are like giga price fixed and sometimes the first page is going to be filled up with them. So if you're selling something, if you're price checking something and it's like, oh, it's one divine because you click this and everything is, says one divine and then you get spammed, it's probably price fixed by like 15 people and then you need to actually open the trade and scroll further down uh, for the actual price. While we're on the uh, Awakened POE trade, it's worth mentioning that it has a built-in slash hideout command on F5. So you can type slash hideout and if you hit enter, if you're in a non-combat zone like a town or another person's hideout, it, this will take you to your hideout. This is built in to Awaken POA Trade. So if I hit F5, I'll just teleport to my hideout. GG. Uh, next up is x Miles button control. I think I talked about this in another video, but this is really useful for dumping things fast. So let's pull out x Miles button control. I am using this to rebind my wheel up and my wheel down to be left clicks, which means I lose my access to scrolling in PoE. So I just rebound my zoom to page up and page down, but I don't really use that anyway, just so that I can do this. People ask me all the time, how do you click so fast? I'm just scrolling my mouse up and down because I have it rebound to left click with X mouse button control. This speeds up your trading so much and it gives you, uh, you know, more lifetime in your fingers because you're not doing this and destroying your wrist. What's important to mention is that when you install Awaken POA Trade first and you're using X mouse button control to scroll wheel click, you have to disable the stash tab scrolling, okay? Because otherwise, if you start dumping with your scroll wheel, your scroll wheel will take over and it will switch to other tabs instead of doing the dump that you want. I can't reproduce this right now for some reason on my end, but it's, I've, I've been getting that feedback a lot for months from people who are using both of these and they don't understand why it's happening. Next thing, better Path of Exile trading extensions. This is how it looks. Basically what it does, let's say with the Mage Blood example, let's search for a Mage Blood. It shows you the chaos value of the divine items. Let's say you want to buy a Mage Blood that isn't bricked, it's 350 divines, that's 81,000 chaos. If it's, uh, let's say, 260 chaos, it's gonna say 1.2 or 1.3 divines. So it's gonna do the conversion for you, for you on the site. It also has a feature where you can save live searches and categorize them in folders. Let's say you have a same leak starter that you always go for, or a new leak starter and you wanna pre-search, pre-save items that you want to buy day one, day two, whatever. You can save those searches here, categorize them in folders, and then open them at the same time in, in one click when the leak comes out. This add-on is available for both Chrome and Firefox. Next add-on, Fuzzy Search. 
talked about this before. Let's say you want to buy a Watcher's Eye. How do you search for Watcher's Eye mods? It's really awkward because it's like, while affected by Zealotry, and by the time you type that out, you forget what you were looking for. But if you start with the fuzzy line, the little tilde sign, then you don't have to finish every word and they don't even have to be after each other. You just do zealotry, zealotr while. These are all the Watcher's Eyes mods with zealotry. Okay, I want this. Let's say you want hatred crit. You don't have to type out like critical strike while affected by hatred. You just type hatred crit, boom. Let's see hatred pen, boom. There is an add-on that does this for you. It's called fuzzy search. You don't have to type the tilde sign. It'll do it for you anytime you start typing. It'll start with the tilde sign. Excellence next. Excellence is back. It's now called Excellence CE. It's a community fork and uh, it is maintained again. It shut down their servers a couple of weeks ago, the original one, but it has been forked. It is a very nice tool to price check your stash. I want to find out how much currency did I make in Sanctum so far. So I'm going to price check this tab. Let's find out. You have to connect it to your POA account. It uses OAuth, the same as those are the safe ones, right? Uh, Filterblade also uses OAuth. Uh, those are the GGG approved safe authenticators, so it should be fine. You select which league you want to price it on. Of course, we play Ancestor Trade, so we pick Ancestor, and then we pick the Sanctum Currency tab, Save Profile, and Take Snapshot, and boom, that's it. Apparently, I have 40,000 Chaos Value in this tab, 24,000 of which is, th is the Divine Orbs, 9,500 is the Sextance, and then 3,000 Chaos, and so on. This is using... POA Ninja pricing, usually pretty up to date. Very nice when you wanna just see like how your farm is going in terms of chaos value. So that's excellence next. If it gets shut down again, there are alternatives. One of them is POE stack and the other one is wealthy exile. I have not used either of them personally, but I have been told that they are working and I've been recommended them by multiple people. So I can put the links in the description to those as well. Next, another big one. Whew. TFT, the Forbidden Trove, the biggest Path of Exile Discord in the world. It has 451,000 members as of this recording, and it has channels for all sorts of things. For example, pricing services, five-way hosting. Do you want to get carried for XP? You just message this guy and you pay them divines and they will carry you in five ways and you get XP. Or you join some other rotas or services. Oh, someone is doing a Vorici service for white sockets, 40 chaos per white socket. Helox service, 30% quality armor, port already, message them and go. Boss carries, non-boss carries, mirror services, challenge carries, hideouts, full gear sets, Bulk trades for bases, beasts, compasses, essences, fossils, heist, everything, okay? If you can think of a trade activity, bulk, service, whatever, TFT probably has a channel for that. Probably even has two channels, one to buy and one to sell. There is, I think, over 40 moderators working for free to police scammers. There is vouch system so if you you know do services for people they vouch for you and you build reputation let's check out some service providers here this guy is a trusted service provider awakened exalted ascended sacred eternal alpha this guy has drawn thousands of services for people so if he posts something you know he's never going to scam you okay takes hundreds beep, of beep, thousands beep, beep, beep. of vouchers to get some of these higher ranks they also have a mirror shop that's how it originally started they also have a bulk selling tool this is you've probably seen me use this before also log in with your account here and then you can bulk sell your entire tabs for 100% PO in enterprise, 90%, 80%, 110%, depending on bulk. Let's say I want to bulk sell this puny little essence tab. We're going to select E100, okay? And then select essence and high essence at 90% PO in enterprise. Boom. This tells me that I have 214C in essences here, which is almost a divine. 
you can put your in-game name here, generate text, and paste this into one of the TFT channels that deals with bulk essence cells. So in this case, I would find ancestor SC bulk want to sell and then essences. And you can see people here selling their essences in bulk at various PON Ninja prices. I would post the text here and then I would generate an image also. So it's nice to look at. It's generated successfully. Boom, adding the image. And if I send this, someone will message me within minutes probably to buy this. But I'm not going to do this right now because we have other stuff to do. For example, guides. So guides are pretty hard to find sometimes in POE because you don't know where to look. It's like there's subreddits, there's YouTube guides, Twitch, Twitch streamers, Discord links, all that. Maxroll, for example, is one of the most trustworthy websites when it comes to ARPG guides. They opened their POE section a couple of years ago. They actually approached me before they did that, asked if I want to be part of their uh, crew in the in the group play guide section but I said no because I'm not really a guide maker it's not my strong suit uh, I don't want to like you know keep updating stuff but they have a lot of useful guides they also have like other tools and resources listed here some of which I mentioned in this very video we go to build guides for bossing so these are their bossing guides currently let's see there's an explosive arrow ballista elementalist it has you know it's moderate difficulty, low budget, decent at mapping, great at bossing, average defenses. They have some gifts here, ascendancy breakdown, build and scaling, very nice, neatly written text guides. Yeah, Maxtroll, good place to find uh, some guides. Next website, Exile Leveling. This is a very new player thing. This is a step-by-step -step written guide on how to get through the campaign. First, you find and kill Hillock. Then you enter Lion Eyes Watch. Then you hand in this quest. Then you go to the coast, you get to the waypoint, you go to Mud Flats, you do the Glyph quest, you go to Submerged Passage. If you're one of those person, you know, like completely new and wants to follow a complete step-by-step, -step, this go through every single act. You can also import your build into this site. You can go to build and import build. You can put the POB code here. Let's say you downloaded a guide from a content creator that has stages. You know how in POB you can go to tree and then there is different stages. I only have default because this is just my imported or imported build, but some guide creators make like, a, okay, this is how your level 10 tree is supposed to look. This is how your level 23 is supposed to look, just so that you know where to start and where to path. You can actually import that into this website and when you go back to the route it's gonna be shown here these stages i don't have any because it's my default build right now but you can flick through your stages so like okay i made it to act three i'm level 30 let's see what my three is supposed to look like it's like integrated into this website it's really nice the poe timeless jewel calculator this is a tool that lets you check how good your timeless jewel is that you found or check the trade site for timeless jewels that your build needs. I have an entire video on how this website works. Put in the seed, you put it in different sockets and it'll show you what the nodes do. I have a complete like seven minute video on this. I'll link that in the description or it's on screen right now. Next, the Eldritch Implicit Sheet. You can look this up on Craft of Exile or PoEDV, but this sheet actually lists all the Eldritch Implicits neatly categorized into, you know, Searing, Exarch, Eater of Worlds, item type, boots, helm, gloves, much nicer than PoE or PoEDB list them. So I'll link this also in the description. Heist cheat sheet. This is for heisters and grand heisters. This just shows what rewards certain contracts give. So lock picking will give you currency rooms, fragment rooms and jewelry rooms, perception can have cards, stack decks, deception, stack decks, harbinger, and so on. Next cheat sheet, expedition. This is made by Jan Prusak, as you can tell by the watermark. This is the different uh, logbook layouts, how good they are, and what rewards they can spawn with. Betrayal cheat sheet. This one is a whole Reddit thread. It has a dark version and a light version. Uh, this is the dark version. This is just a betrayal sheet sheet. If you're working on your betrayal board, what happens if I put uh, Hillock on fortification? You get to, 
improve the quality of the armor. What happens if I put A's link to research? That's GG, that's what you want. We have one more thing to add here. There is a small rooms to avoid cheat sheet made by Zizaran. This is the rooms to avoid in the Sanctum. These are like the bad ones with hard traps and stuff. So if you wanna read the room names and check this out, you should try to avoid these. Thanks, Ziz. POE Lab. This is for daily lab layouts. This is maintained by Suit Size Small, and I think two other creators used to be part of this, but it's mostly Suit Size Small now. Every day, they run the lab, and they put this picture out to show you what the lab layout is like. Which rooms are where, which corner you wanna go to. This one seems pretty bad. You start here, then you have to go top right, then you go bottom right here, and then you go bottom right to get back to the key, then you go top right to get to the first Izaro, then you go top right here, and so on. You, you look at the little dots, that's basically the direction where you're going from entering the room. This lab today seems pretty bad. Hopefully tomorrow's better. It refreshes once per day, and usually within an hour or two, probably sometimes even faster, it's updated. And finally, some fun stuff. This is mostly for content creators, oriath.net slash audio. This website has every single PoE voice line available for you to listen to or download. Let's say you want to hear Rog the dealer and you want to hear him say goodbye. Don't drink the water. Don't drink the water. Don't eat the mushrooms. Here for a deal. Here for a deal. Here for a deal. Don't drink the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope this helps, guys. So that's uh, that's the sounds. And uh, something for your eyes. Hideoutshowcase.com. This is a website with hundreds of player-made hideouts that are available for you to download and import and use. So you can search by hideout bases. You can search stuff that doesn't require any MTX. Oh, this picture looks really cool. This one is called The Gift, and it has uh, it's the Timekeeper hideout base. And this is how it looks. And if you like it, you can just go to Downloads and download it. And then you just import it into your hideout using the Import button here, which is probably behind my camera. Yeah, but it's, it's, about, it's about here on the screen. But uh, yeah, that is the, the hideouts. I hope that was useful. I am... I'm gonna try to keep this up to date. If something gets outdated, I will update the link in the description. If something gets discontinued, I will delete the link in the description. I want this video to be relevant for years to come. There is obviously gonna be new tools that get made, and uh, if there is more niche stuff that I think is worth putting out, then I will make a part two. But um, that is that is all, I think. And ladies and gentlemen, now you're ready to play Path of Exile. Don't forget to like and subscribe.